Hello beautiful people and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how I go from this to this as I share with you, I'm not sure what I'm going to call it yet. It's either going to be simple glam, easy glam, natural glam, something like that. Bottom line, I'm going to share with you an easy way of how to accomplish a glamorous makeup look. This look is so versatile. I feel like you can be a wedding guest, a bridesmaid, or even a bride wearing this look. In my opinion, the two things that make a makeup look more glamorous is adding eyeliner and false lashes. So I'm going to share with you some tips that have helped me to be able to apply liquid liner and false lashes in accomplishing this look. I've already done my skincare base. You know it. You know how important that is not, you don't know what I'm talking about, I will link a video just for you. Moving on to the nitty gritty and jumping right in, I'm gonna use a primer. I love using primers for glam looks because I just, it just does something. Along with that beautiful skincare base, putting on a primer, we're gonna use the Vanish Airbrush Primer from Hourglass. This is a really, really nice primer. Oh my gosh, isn't that like the worst thing ever when you get an eyelash stuck in your eye? Ooh, and that was a tiny one too. Okay, <laughs> back to the program. Yes, the Vanish Airbrush Primer. It's really nice. It actually feels more like a moisturizer than a normal primer. I just like how it makes the skin look. I love how makeup applies to it. I did about three pumps. I feel like that's sufficient. This has a silicone base, so if you put too much on it, it can kind of feel a little bit slippery. So I gotta be careful with that just a little bit. Goes a long way. Now, quickly moving on to foundation. This is my current favorite summertime glam foundation. This is from Giorgio Armani. This is the Luminous Silk Perfect Glow Fla 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 Flawless Foundation. There we go. It gives me a little bit more coverage than the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter, which I love using usually for like everyday looks. And that's what I like. I like just a little bit more coverage when we are doing a glam look because you want your, your skin to look good in the pictures. Typically, if you're doing a glam look, there's gonna be pictures. You wanna look good for the pics, right? Here's a tip. If you just wanna try it out and you don't wanna commit to fully buying the product, go to Sephora and get a sample. I'm gonna take my Sephora 64 brush. I did about two pumps. I'm just gonna go ahead and spread this around my face. This is in the color, I forgot to tell you, 6.5. Look at how easy that blends. Let me get closer. Ooh. Next thing that I'm gonna do is brows. I'm trying something new out. I usually always use a brow pencil, but I really wanna give this eyebrow stuff a chance. This is the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Powder. Yeah, I know, brow powder. I have a love-hate relationship with it. I used to be obsessed with brow powders years ago, back in 2018, when we really did the thick eyebrows and stuff. This is in the color four. I have this brush from MAC. It is the 266 SE brush. I'm pretty sure this was from a holiday set. I hope they have this in regular size. It's probably not SE, it's probably just 266. I'll try to link it for you. If not, if I can't find this one, I will link an alternative. Just a really nice eyebrow brush. I've used this for my brows all the time. When I'm doing my brows for a glam look, I like them to really pop. I like them to be a little bit darker. As you can see, I have very sparse brows. When I'm doing a glam look, they have to look but not too much, you know what I'm saying? Let me slow myself down because I need these brows to stick up before I do any powder. I'm gonna use the Benefit Fluff Up Brow Wax first, just to push them up because as you can see, they're kind of droopy and sad. This is what makeup's for. I love this product a lot. It's been so good to me and I can only imagine if you have like beautiful, natural, full brows, like this would be all you would ever need. I have to admit, I'm jealous, like I wish. That is amazing, but this stuff is so good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take this powder with that brush, I'm gonna go lightly. I'm gonna kinda test it out on my hand first to see how the pigment is. It's light, that's good. Okay, I'm not scared. Let's go ahead and start over here. Ooh, I'm gonna fan it up like that, make it a little bit more natural appearing, creating a little line over here like I would with a pencil. I guess you could use this in tandem with a eyebrow pencil too, to like really bring drama to the brows. When I get up into this area, I'm taking kind of the brush flat, if that makes sense. Instead of at the angle, I'm taking it flat and brushing up, because I find this is the best way to make it look more natural and play with my eyebrow hairs a little bit better. Yeah, this is nice. If you kind of are scared to use a pencil or even like gel, then definitely go for this powder. It's a really good quality powder. The pigment is really nice. I feel like it just gives you enough. We're not done yet. I'm going to set this with Benefit's Gimme Brow. This is the Brow Volumizing Fiber Gel and it's tinted. This is the color 4.5 that I have it in. I love it. 
I love how this applies. Like what a way to ultimately push up the brows and make them look fantastic. I'm so excited about this product. This is kind of messy. So we're gonna clean it up with some concealer, Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in 35N Medium. This is one of my favorite glam concealers, hands down. I feel like it gives you the perfect amount of coverage. I feel like it just really does something to your face. I'm gonna go ahead and apply it like I normally would my concealer before I clean up these brows. There to kind of Help me a little bit with my round face. Now I'm gonna take the residual underneath my eye and I'm going to use a flat shader brush. This one is from BH Cosmetics. This is what it looks like. Go ahead and take some down here and we're gonna work on the brows. Y'all would start yard work right now. Sorry if you guys can hear that, that's annoying. Look at how clean that looks when you get to clean it up with a brush like that. Oof. To me, that is such a good trick to immediately making your makeup look so much more pro by adding a concealer line underneath your brow. So I'm gonna take my beauty blender, it's damp. I'm gonna go ahead and blend this concealer out. Just love how creamy this concealer is. I love how it blends. If you're on a budget and you want something similar, I would go with the LA Girl Pro Concealer. It's kind of a good dupe. Since we're still on face makeup, I'm gonna go ahead and do my bronzer. I'm gonna use the Sigma Matte Bronzer in Medium. I feel like matte bronzers are superior when it comes to glam looks because it, it stays on the face longer. It looks a little bit sharper and more defined. So I always go for a powder bronzer. I'm using the brush 124 from BH Cosmetics. This is my favorite bronzing brush, especially when using powder because it's angled and it really helps you get in to your contour line. Doing deep circular motions to really help blend it out. And I like to hit this area here to help define my chin line and give more of a slimming effect to the face. And then we're gonna work that up into the temples. Moving on to blush. This is one of my all time favorite blushes. It's more of a matte type blush. It's a small amount of shimmer. This blush is great in between. It's from MAC and it's called the Love Me Like Me. I always get so many compliments whenever I use this blush. We're gonna take that Sigma F53 brush, um, the contour and blush brush and we're going to apply this up top here in light striking motions. Now we're gonna move on to eye makeup. This part is so fun. I love doing glam eye makeup looks. We're going to take the Cor de Rosa palette from Sigma. I am in love with this palette so much guys. It's just it's just a really good color palette. Look at this. Look at these colors, so versatile. I love versatile palettes. I'm actually going to take the darkest color on this palette first, which is called Barefoot. And I'm gonna use a blending brush and we're gonna apply this on the corner or the, the far end of my eye in a blending motion, just in that corner. Blend that out, give your eyes some depth. And I keep blending until I feel like it's enough. Kind of like at a slanted, so you can see a slanted motion. Give the appearance of a more slanted and larger looking eye. I'm gonna slightly go into this corner here, but really try to avoid that part of the eye. Go on the other eye. I kind of like paint it out first like that. And then I work in and blend it. Hope that I described that correctly. And then kind of go up there just a bit, but really focusing it on the outer corner. I'm going to use the MAC 165S brush or a flat shader brush, something small like this, so that I can take that same color barefoot and I'm gonna go underneath the eye very lightly. Blend it out with the fingers because you don't want it too heavy. I'm not going all the way in, leaving this part of the eye open. This is gonna bring balance to the eye look. Open up those eyes even more. Such a great trick that I learned to really help open up the eyes. Some people get nervous about putting um, shadow underneath here because they're afraid they're gonna look like a raccoon. But if you just blend it out and you're very precise with it, you'll be just fine. If your eyes are a bit darker than mine, use a lighter color. I'm using a dark color, my eyes can handle it. It doesn't look crazy on me. But if you feel like it'll look crazy on you, use a lighter brown color. You can even go to almost like tan. Just the extra dimension will help really balance out the eye look and I think it looks so beautiful in any makeup look you do. We've left this area open for the bell of the ball color. This beautiful color right there. I'm taking my MAC 164S brush. We're gonna take that color and we're gonna apply it right on top. Look at that. Oh, it's so beautiful and it's so nice and pigmented. I'm just kind of paint corner like that. It gives you just that glamorous shimmer. I'm gonna take that same shader brush that I use underneath my eyes here, the 165 MAC brush, and I'm going to take Campfire, which is right here. Campfire. We're gonna put that underneath here, just for a little added shimmer and a little bit more dimension, just in like the center almost. And then for the final phase, we're gonna take Bell of the Ball, and we're gonna put it right 
in there. Unify the look completely. So before I do falsies or eyeliner, I always like to apply a base layer of mascara. I'm gonna be using my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara in Carbon Black, and we're just gonna push the eyelashes up. Doing this allows me to have a guide for where I want to apply my liner and my lashes. We're gonna start with lashes first. While this mascara dries, you wanna make sure it's dry. I'm gonna start cutting my lashes. Now, I use the Ardell Wispy Lashes. They're my favorite natural lashes. If you don't like lashes, try this out. I don't know how makeup gurus do the big lashes. I can't. I have a small eye and maybe that's what it is. I feel like if you have a bigger eye, you can go for a more dramatic eyelash. I have to stick to something that's super light and small. Whenever I wear these, people always are debating whether I'm wearing false lashes or not. Another tip is to make sure you cut your lashes. You've gotta customize them. Especially for me, because I have a smaller eye, I have to make sure I cut my lashes. I've seen some people with some beautiful eyes that can fit this lash without having to customize it at all by cutting it, but that is not me. I take some little scissors, I freehand this. I used to just measure, I would take the lash itself, kind of rest it and look at it. I'm gonna chop off just the slight end of this lash line. And I'm gonna show you. Do you see how they're grouped in sections of hairs? I'm going to cut two sections off. It's just a slight customization. And then, so the other eyelash matches, I'm gonna do the same thing. And I always like to cut at the ends, not in the center, because then it makes it hard for you to know which is the center and which is the end part. So cut from the ends. Another tip is glue. You wanna have a really good glue. My absolute 100% favorite is the Duo Lash Glue. This one is the dark tone. It's just the best, okay? Duo has some other glues that they, they have that are not very good. This is this is the good one. I have been through this. I'm gonna take my tweezers. You can take your fingers. I know that when I was beginning doing lashes, it was easier for me to use fingers. I'm gonna apply just a little bit of this glue. You want to just lightly glue the lash line so lightly. Don't do too much. And you're gonna wait for it to get tacky because it won't stick if you apply it right away. And then it also won't stick if you wait too long. So, sweet spot. I blow it just for a little bit and then I go in. I'm gonna bring it even closer. I'm gonna apply it like this. Just like that. Not done yet. Line it up with your lash line, your natural lash line. Don't be afraid to move it, but just move it lightly. I like to start with the ends, and then I will take my finger, just move it down. That first placement is so important. That's really it. That's all you gotta do. Let's do the next lash. Also, another tip, make sure the lash has a good bend in it. Do it like that. The more bend, the better it will form to your natural lash like to do it in the middle and then go to the sides. There you go. That's how you apply your false lashes. You could totally go out in a makeup look looking just like this. Cause if you look down, you can't see any lines. It looks pretty, pretty decent, but I like to finish it off with an eyeliner, a liquid liner. It's just something that I love to do. I'm gonna use the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Eyeliner. To me, I feel like when I have the lashes on, it makes it really easy for me to do this next part. I'm gonna try to explain it while I'm doing it, but it is kind of difficult too, because it's hard to talk when you're doing eyeliner. I do like to start my eyeliner like this, instead of starting on top, to kind of give myself um, a measuring line as to where I want to put my liner. I like to measure from the outer corner of my eye and I just draw a line, especially where that last lash kind of goes out. That's how I measure it. And I draw a line like that. Then I take that line and I connect it to the rest of the the eye and then I fill it in. You see you have like a good guide. I went a little bit thick with that liner, but that's okay. Where it's a glam look, it's fine to find that line out a little bit. Oop. Just make sure to make it nice and even. It's a little bit messy, but that's okay. We'll fix that. Let's go into the other eye. I do find that when you hold the eye out like that, it does make it a little easier. We're gonna clean this up with some concealer just really quick. I'm going to take that same flat shader brush that I used to define my under eyebrows, and I'm going to just take the residual that's on there because there's already residual concealer. 
and I'm just gonna sharpen up my lines. This is such a good brush for that. Alrighty, now for the finishing touch for the eye makeup look, I'm gonna take that L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara and we're going to blend all of this together. And then I'm gonna take that mascara and go a little harder on the bottom so that we are balancing out the look. And there you have it. Let's go in with some highlighter. Let's use the Sigma Powder Highlighter. This is in Sizzle. I really love this highlighter a lot. I'm taking the Sigma High Cheekbone Highlighter brush in the number F03, adding a nice highlight. Look at how dreamy that is. Put that up there, over here on the cupid's bow, and then above the brow. Let's do lips as the final touch. This is my favorite lip combination right now. I think I've already shared it with you guys, but this is what I have been wearing in like all my videos, everything. I'm obsessed with this lip combo. It's from Peri Para, and it is eyeliner and an ink velvet lip jug. Thing. I don't know. I'm gonna take that lip liner. I am absolutely not a huge fan of lip liners. I don't like to use them. I rarely ever do. But this combo sets it off. Like, I have to use the lip liner. It's so beautiful. And then I apply the ink. Ooh, there you have it. <laughs> I love this look. Let's finish it off with a setting spray. This is the Makeup Forever Mist and Fix. Make sure it's nice and dry. And there you have it, my friends. This is your easy, simple, natural glam makeup look. I am so obsessed with this. I do this all the time and I love it. I hope you guys can try it out for yourself and you will love it too. I wanna thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, make sure you leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any new videos like this. Please send me your recommendations of different types of looks that you would like me to do um, so that I can accomplish it for you. Again, thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.